What is going on guys? In this video, I'm going to show you a office alternative. This is for any program in office. You have Microsoft Word, you have PowerPoint, Excel, all those things in one, but this thing is free and it's called LibreOffice. It is an open source. That means it's hundred percent free. It's always, uh, they, they continue to maintain it every day. They, they have updates and stuff like that. So it is constantly being worked on. So let's go ahead and open our web browser. And for this, I'm going to use Opera and type in Libre. That's L I B R E. I will have the link in the description of this video, Libre office. Now let's see the link that pops up. So this link right here is Libre office. So you're going to go ahead and click on that. So let's just click on to the homepage. I click there to the homepage. Um, let's click on Libre office fresh. So along the page right here, main installer, this is what you're going to click on. You're going to click on download version 5.2.1. If there is a later version, then go ahead and click on that. So go ahead and click on save, find a place to save it. Now this is going to be saved in my downloads folder. So I'm going to go ahead and click save and you go ahead too. Now the download would will automatically pop up. Um, so you don't need to worry about donating, but it would be nice if if you, I'm sure they will be happy if you guys will donate, but again, there's no requirement to, to donate in order to get the download. So I'm just going to go ahead and click save. So now, once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and click on the folder that it is installed in. So again, once that's finished installing, I'm going to go ahead and click on the download link. Just minimize that. And, and to install it, you would simply click next. Um, you click on next again and do the um, regular installation. So you just go ahead and click next and you can install. Um, it's going to install all of them, but if you want, if you want this application to read the other applications, sorry, not the other applications, but let's say you download a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. If you basically want it to open those files in default with LibreOffice, then you would go ahead and select that. So you don't have to, it's really up to you. If you do have a uh, office on your computer, like a uh, older version, maybe you would want to do it. Again, it's really up to you. You can go ahead and mess around with it. You can always change it later on in the settings. So I'm gonna go ahead and click next and let's go ahead and click create a start link on startup. And you can go ahead and uncheck this if you guys did not want it to start up with your system. I'm going to go ahead and click install again. It shouldn't really mess anything up. So once that's done, you're going to click on finish. And now that you have LibreOffice Libre Office installed, I want to show you guys how it looks. Let's type in LibreOffice and let's go to the writer, LibreOffice writer. So this is an equivalent to Microsoft Word, but it is, again, it is 100% free. So let's just show you the spell checker, how it works, everything of that sort. So I just typed in hello. I'm just looking if it does give me a, so it didn't give me that. And they have all these settings right here. Insert, you can go ahead and play with that, play around with that, see, um, see if you guys do like it. So I'm just going to show you some more things with LibreOffice before I show you the next thing. So if you go ahead and type in Libre, L-I-B-R-E in your start button, you click on LibreOffice, it will give you all the startups. So you have writer doc, calc, spreadsheet, impress presentation, draw, drawing, math formula, and base database. Now all these things, they're all in equivalent to whatever Microsoft has. So let's see here. So if you click on that, you click on next. I never used this before. If you guys want to, if you guys want to play around with that, go ahead, be my guest. Let's go to calc spreadsheet, because I'm pretty sure that's like an Excel equivalent. So that is the Excel equivalent and you go ahead and, and use it, try it out, see for yourself how it works. Um, if you guys did want to know if this is cross uh, compatible, so what I'm trying to say is if you open up a Microsoft file, I'm sure it is on a very basic level, but if you want to start using this to open up all your Microsoft files, and I wouldn't recommend it because it is a completely, it's not completely different, but it is different. It's a different, it's a different layout, different sort of styles they're not uh, made by the same people so it will be different but if you guys just needed this to make uh 
different things, edit different things on your own to make different things. And you didn't have uh, the money to, to, if you didn't have the money to spend on an office license, then this would definitely be the program to go to. Now there is another, there is another one I did, I did want to show you another alternative to this. If you guys were looking for a different experience, or even if you did want something that saves all your files online, it keeps them online in your email or in a safe spot. And this is pretty simple. I mean, if you guys did have a, if you guys did have a Gmail account, this is pretty much automatic. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I'm talking about. So if you go ahead and go to gmail.com or even, sorry, let's go to the actual thing, Google Docs. Now this is called, this is called Google Docs and you can edit anything online it has has a, an Excel equivalent it has a, a word a Microsoft Word equivalent but the good thing about Google Docs is that it literally saves everything online and another really cool thing about it is that if you wanted to share that file with somebody else it would give them a, a share button which means it would send it to their email and they would be able to edit the file as well but that's if you did want to want to share a file with somebody else and that's a really cool thing about this is that you can have a, let's say an Excel spreadsheet file and they can edit it themselves. And I just want to show you quickly what I'm talking about. So let's go ahead and go into Google Docs. Now it's going to ask me to sign in. So let's sign in. So now, I don't know if you guys can see that, but you have Google Docs here. Now, I don't know if you guys know this, but within the next few years, Google will, I, I'm not sure if this will be a part of it. I hope not, but Google is working on developing their own operating system and that that's going to be a video on their own. They're actually, they already have an operating system, but they want to, what they want to do is they want to make it exclusive. So they want to take all the Google apps, even the Google extensions and make it exclusive to only a Chromebook, Chrome OS, which is their Chrome, which is their operating system. So let me just show you guys quickly. If I wanted to add a document here, I would click on add and it would have your email here. And if you guys did want to share the same document, you would click on share and obviously you would give it a name. So let's just give it a test. We'll just type in test. And now here is where you type in the email addresses where you guys, where you guys can share the file with. And here is the options section where you can choose if they can only view it, they can comment on it or they can edit it so that they can do anything with it. So you, you really need to decide when you do share your, your file or your, your document, what they can do, what you're, you're going to allow them to do with it, what privileges you're going to give them. So if you did want to email this to somebody else, you would type in, again, you would type in their email and then you would choose what they can actually do with the file. They can edit it. They can comment on it, which means they can only leave comments or they can just view it and not do anything else. So again, that's, these are the options right here after you type in the email addresses and you, there's no limit. You can add as many as you want. At least that is what I think. So let me go ahead. I'm going to show you guys. Let's just type in a small little comment there. And if I wanted to save it, it would automatically save. Now, if I go to I go to my docs right here. I'm going to show you guys that there is the file right there. You don't need to even click save. It automatically saves it every two seconds or something like that, or it's a live save. I'm not sure exactly how far away the saves are, but that's pretty much it. Now, let me show you guys quickly. I'm going to show you the Excel, the, their Excel spreadsheet. So if you click on the bars right there to the left side, you click on sheets. And it'll take you to a, a very similar type of uh, Excel type of sheet. And here's where you would add it. And as you can see there, it's pretty much, I'm not sure. Listen, I'm, I'm not a, a heavy user of Excel. I have used it a few times, but I can tell you it looks very similar. And the options that I did need with this, with, uh, with this Excel were, were there. That's, that's pretty much what I can say. So you guys will have to test it out on your own just to make sure that it is. And again, the good thing about this is you can share it with anybody. And you can, it automatically saves. So you don't need to worry about saving it on a backup hard drive and, and stuff like that. It's automatically saved. So let's just click back there for a second. And the one more thing 
that this thing has is PowerPoint. So if you, it's called Slides though. So the Google version is called Slides. And this is a whole PowerPoint presentation thing where you make presentations. And guys, this is all 100% free. This is 100% free. And you don't need to worry about paying and, and uh, different versions and stuff like that. It's all pretty much compatible. If somebody has Gmail, then they can they can open this up. They, they have access to this. So that's the really cool thing about this. And hopefully more people in the future will start using this because it does save it into your computer and uh, sorry, it does save it online and you don't really need to worry about it. And you don't really need to worry about the privacy because it is all private. Everything is private unless obviously somebody hacks your email, which is um, unlikely if you have a strong password. So anyway, that is going to be it for this video. If you guys did like this video or you found it helpful, please give me a thumbs up because it helps me out a lot and I'll catch you guys on the flip side.